So, what? Well, um, how many uh like albums do you got out? Uh, like two or three. You got three. It. Uh, so the Free Water was the first one. Yeah, then I had Free Water too. I took it nine because some of the songs we were about to get them. We were about to redo the whole Free Water to get them remastered. Yeah, just slipped my mind. Yeah, yeah. Then I did a song with Slug. Me and Slug did like a CGM Slug. We had did uh, Free Rolling. It was just a little uh, EP. Mm. But see, I had took it down. Uh, hopefully got down. We make some original songs and, and redo the tape. Okay. And uh, then you dropped the hood, Drake. Oh, yeah, man. I, I like rapping about the women more than I like <laughs> rapping about the other shit. Yeah, Yo, yeah. I like expressing my emotions, like. It's healthy too. It's like a way to uh, event, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, express their emotions differently. Some people like to smoke, some people like to drink. Yeah. Might want to take a walk in the park. For me, to turn on the mic sometimes and just, oh, got that out of my chest now, I'm good. But yeah, I love Hood Drake. It's more of the, like I say, the Hood Drake. It's the hood, it's the lover side of the hood, nigga. Yeah. And then, then you drop, uh, the Trapper Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Trapper Man. That was a little... Uh, I got Welcome to Trapper Man about to come out. That's going to be like the official like project that the money finna go behind. But I did Trapper Man just because I got so many songs on my computer. And, you know, talking to people that's in a good position already, they'd be like, don't hold them songs. Yeah. And like, let them go. Like, the song you think ain't the song might be the song. Yeah. So... Shit, ain't no point of having 50 songs on my computer talking about, oh, man, I'm going to wait to this. I just release them. Like, yeah. at the end of last year, I'd say about a good 12-week run, I was probably releasing a song every 10 days. Yeah. What, um, what's some of the producers you working with? You know what I'm saying? Who who would you say your, uh, you know what I'm saying, the shot to your COVID? You know what I'm saying? Who? All right. So, like, the women side, like the hood trade stuff, it's a, it's a couple guys out Listen to, uh, I like Jabari on the beat. I like uh, Heavy Keys. It's this other one, man. He made the new high beat, and I can't remember his name. <laughs> but it's it's a couple of them on that side. Like, yeah. I only go to them like yeah. when I want to make that type of music. But like on the rapping side, it's just whatever sounds good to my ear. Yeah. Like it's a couple of them that I want to meet in person. Like this is Wangster. It's a guy. Uh, on YouTube, I want to meet him in person. Before I lost my Instagram, me and this producer, he was from over there by Russia, and he was moving to LA at the end of the year. Yeah. But that was the same year that I lost my IG. And he was like, when I move to LA, I want to fly you out so we can make something together. And it's a lost connection. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, um, uh, let's talk about uh, like the Hawkinville like music scene. Like we kind of talked about a little bit uh, growing up, but what about like right now? Like you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like the Hawkinville music scene is underrated? Like you feel like y'all getting y'all recognition? Uh, if we ain't, I'm definitely about to change that. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's it's a lot of fire. Really on the on the. On the uh, on the fire, they just gotta put the gas on me. I don't open up the door. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of us that that can that rap that's good that can sing, but it's just like I'm the one that did all the uh, trials and error to see what is what. So half the time they just be waiting on me. They're yeah. like they're like, hey, I still tell them like keep working now, cause yeah. you know it might flip. Yeah, see, I might be waiting on you. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I like them. They, yeah. they my boy. Yeah. What what um like in your opinion, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, when they talk about Georgia music, you know what I'm saying, they really only know about Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna mention Macon, they ain't gonna mention Warner Rob, Millerville, Hawkinville, you know what I'm saying? So what what would you say would be like the similarities and differences between like Hawkinsville and Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? Atlanta more of a uh, it's a fast, it, it moves fast up there. So right. the fast life includes, you know, spending money, blowing money, uh, being flashy, all this. 
I feel like when you come down south, it's, it's less flashing. It's mm-hmm. more of a, oh, this what's going on right now. Like, yeah. you ain't got no goddamn, you know, Hellcat outside. Yeah. Even some of the niggas up there, you know, that ain't a bit and I ain't got Hellcat. So, you know, they can rap about all that stuff. Yeah. feel like the further you go down south, it start to get more authentic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you can fake it up there. Yeah. You, can't, you can't fake it down here in the folk. Storm. Look, if I wasn't trying to rap, probably had a hundred thousand in the sofa in the den, off a truck, yeah, off a truck. Spent the dub on the music, would've turned that to a 40, then the 80, add 20, then no cap, then no cap. Listen, plug, drop the prices on the boat for me. Hell yeah. I don't trust a nigga going to get in low for me. Hell Bitch yeah. Bitch, trying to fuck, come up out that cold for me. Hell yeah. I ain't selling you no blank, go shot with old buddy. Hell yeah. Bitch, some sisters wanna kick, I'm fucking both on. Niggas feeding for the gas, I'm like.